The area around the Mather Mansion has changed dramatically since the house was built on Millionaire's Row in 1910. Today, I-90 runs adjacent to it and the ever-growing campus of Cleveland State University is the building's home. Still, remnants of the former residence's past can be found throughout in the endless intricate details built into its structure. The next chapter for the Mather Mansion, if all goes according to plan, is as a boutique hotel, a move that will allow today's visitors to Cleveland to take advantage of both the past and present of Euclid. About a year ago, we issued an RFP to developers to convert this building into a boutique hotel, similar to the Glidden House on Case, Case's campus. They get a lot of use out of that, traveling professors, parents, dignitaries. Um, there's definitely a need for sort of a higher-end hotel on campus. Um, and also a place where we can hold events as well. <clears throat> so there's, there's definitely that need and, and it allows us to monetize the property at the same time. Um, but one of the things that we insisted on is maintaining the heritage of the building and the property. Um, as you can see throughout the, throughout the house, the architectural elements have all been preserved. We want to maintain that heritage throughout the house. Um, one thing for a developer to to be able to uh, turn this into a boutique hotel effectively is to add on to it. So um, we're working with uh, architectural ideas on how do you add on to an historical f structure without disturbing the integrity of the house and the historical significance of the house. And that's one of the things that we're working through right now. We're very keen on preserving historic structures. So we've, we've got a, a long track record of, of uh, Preserving the historical structures on, on Euclid Avenue, we've, um, we've done the Howe Mansion, we've redone the Fenn Tower, um, we were involved in the um, uh, recent renovation of the Allen Theater, um, and then, then, then this certainly is, is the crown jewel in the architecture of, of Cleveland State, so we find it uh, almost imperative that this, this house be preserved.